Hey guys, it's uh, Chris Your Singh here, back from CNH Small G again. I'm making a uh, quick video here about uh, some of the um, uh, newer Brig and Strat and about six to seven horsepower uh, flathead engines that are currently in the market. Uh, one of the machines I was working on today, uh, it had um, uh, problems with it um, staying running, and um, the customer was mainly complaining that the machine was sometimes hard to start, and other times the machine was running. Uh, perfectly fine uh, during when it was like um, I think when it was, when it was um, actually warm I think after uh, it sat for about maybe five or ten minutes it started up okay but when it was, it was cold it was giving him um, uh, hard start problems well we uh, we traced um, I'd say about a quarter of the problem uh, down to the um, uh, thermostat vane on the uh, automatic choke system so that thing had to be replaced for one thing the other thing was the uh, the carburetor itself uh, had a bunch of sediment in it and the air box was leaking under two of them one of the bolts on the carburetor was um, uh, not tightened to the intake manifold the actual plastic intake manifold looks like it might have been a factory design issue because uh, those things had to be extremely tight so they have a a nice uh, perfect seal when it goes to the um, intake manifold side on there for that after it goes to the carburetor. And the other problem was uh, on here, uh, the carburetor itself, uh, the carburetor I got in front of me right here, it's off a uh, 2000, um, 2009 um, uh, Briggs & Stratton uh, flathead engine, as I said before, it's about a six and a half horsepower. And this is the auto choke, as you can tell right here, it has the um, uh, hole right here for the um, uh, air vane where you put the air vane up atop the carburetor right here it comes out of the top here and it goes over to the exhaust side of the machine also and this one originally came on the uh, the uh, the choke side right here with uh, this type of uh, choke let me see me flip it around here for you it has a number on the side right here it has this uh, choke one here uh, as opposed to the one I put in here that it has in right now this is the one that uh, it, like I said before originally came with right here it's 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 a basically uh, I'd say maybe, but maybe about uh, three quarters of the one that I currently have in it right now. See this one right here. The one I have in it here right now is off the 2011, 2012, I believe 2013, 2014 ones. The uh, the choke uh, plate baffle one here for this, and this is the 2009 one. Apparently they had a uh, design change from the 2009-2008 to the 2011 and uh, up I believe on here I don't know if it came up as a TSB a recall or some type of uh, this uh, general SOP or a uh, shop procedure that uh, if you get a machine in here that's uh, uh, I think pre-2000 maybe pre-2011 has um, hard starting issues it can be traced back to uh, this thing right here because uh, this type of design right here it actually lets a lot more air into the carburetor as opposed to this one that I currently put installed here so this one right here is the 2011 type, uh, the uh, the choke plate right here. And this one is the 2009 one right here. This one is a 2009 part. It's uh, 227714, I believe, on there. And uh, that's the old style right here. And uh, basically, I already swapped this thing out when I had the machine already cleaned up before in here. But I had another carburetor I put it on. So... This carburetor will definitely work fine with it on here because I got about three machines there right now that currently have the same type of uh, issue on here, and I'm going to be swapping them all out anyway on here because uh, it's basically a, uh, a cheap uh, cheap fix on some machines that are um, giving you hard starting when it's cold out there, or sometimes hard starting when it's um, also warm, depending on the exact uh, type of um, choke system they have on them. This one is an automatic choke right here. So it has uh, basically this right here to automatically choke it rather than the prime. So uh, because the primer bulb, I think they discontinued that back in 08, 09. So this is the new ones after that. So most new machines I've seen currently in the market today, or I should say this, this past few months, uh, they're all auto choke style uh, Briggs engines on it. So there's basically no manual way to uh, prime the carburetor on there as you will. So this thing should do it fine. I just want to let people know that uh, if you have a older machine out there and uh, it may be giving you hard starting problems, this could be this could be an issue with it out there for that. So just make a note of that. If uh, you're in a business like I am, just keep an eye on these things, and this could be a possible issue with them in the future. I'll see you guys.